Hey guys, in this video we're going to learn how to add two IEEE 754 floating point numbers together. Now we're given these two numbers x and y, and our first steps are going to be to convert these numbers x and y into a form that we can use that's a little bit better. So we're going to convert them into their binary scientific notation where we have uh, one point something times two to the something. The first thing that we're going to do is convert x into normalized binary scientific notation. So there's a video on that uh, for converting uh, IEEE 754 number to decimal that you should watch to learn how to do this process. But we're going to um, stop before we actually do the conversion to decimal. So our mantissa is still going to consist of a uh, binary number. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to take x uh, and we're going to determine x. So we have that our sine bit equals 0, so we know that it's going to be a positive number. And then we're given that our exponent equals uh, 1, 0, 0, 0, uh, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now if we go ahead and calculate this, we're going to find that this value equals 132. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and write down here 132. And then we have to subtract out 127 to account for our bias. And I go into detail on that in my other video. So our exponent is going to equal 5. Uh, so we know that our value is going to be, uh, we have to find our mantissa. So we've got these 8 bits right here. And then our mantissa is all the following bits. So our value is going to be uh, 1.000111 uh, 1, 1, 1, 1 times 2 to the fifth. And that's where we can stop right there. So now let's go ahead and do y. And we're going to find that y, our sine bit, is also 0. And we're going to find that our exponent is uh, the value 1000. Zero, 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 uh, zero, sorry, 1000011. Zero, 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 one, one which we find is equal to 131. So if I subtract out 127, we're going to get 4 as our actual exponent. So there's our actual exponent value. So our, our um, representation of y in normalized binary scientific notation is uh, 1 point, uh, let's see, 0, 1, 0, 1. So I'm taking the mantissa right here and stopping at the last one. 1 point zero one zero one. Oh, sorry, 0, 1, 0, 0, 1. Uh, times 2 to the fourth. Okay, so far so good. So I'm going to scroll up a little bit so we just have these two values. So the next step that we need to do is we need to uh, take our x value, so I'm going to rewrite over here, this is equal to x and this is equal to y, is we need to take these two values and we need to align their binary points. Uh, so we need to or sorry, not align their binary points, we have to match their exponents. So what we always do is that we want to find uh, the value that has the smaller exponent and make that exponent match the larger value. And since y has an exponent of 4 and x has an exponent of 5, we're going to take y and rewrite it so that our exponent is 5, so that the exponents match up. So whenever we want to increase our exponent, we always move the binary point to the left by 1. So I'm going to go and rewrite these values and we're going to line them up and uh, we're going to take into account that I'm moving the binary point to the left for y. So I'm going to do uh, 1 point Sorry, 1.000111. 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. And we're going to rewrite y as um, 0 0 0.101010. Uh, we're going to do our addition, and I'm going to go ahead and write times 2 to the fifth for both of these. So I'm going to add these up. So I'm going to get a 1 here. Then we're going to get a 0 here, carry the 1. 0 here, carry the 1. 0 here carry the 1, 0, carry the 1, then just a 1, and a 1, and a 1, and this is going to be our final value uh, times 2 to the 5th. So now we can easily take this representation because we have all of our components. So we have our, um, in, or our exponent, which is right here, and I'm going to go ahead and underline the mantissa, which is right here. So, and our sign is going to be uh, 0 because our answer is positive. The next thing we need to do is we need to account for the bias in our exponent, so I'm going to just go ahead and take 5 and add uh, 127 to it, which is going to give me 32, or 132, rather, and that's going to be equal to uh, 1000100100. Zero, 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 one, zero, zero. And then we can take our, uh, our other values, so we can take our sign, so I'm going to go ahead and write our sign is going to be 0 because our answer is positive, so I'll do the sign. And then I'll go ahead and write out our exponent, uh, which I'm going to do in this color. So we'll do uh, take this value and just copy it into our uh, representation. 1, 0, 0, 0, 
0, 1, 0, 0. And then I have to write out I'm Antissa, which is this value underlined in orange here. So I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. And I'm not going to copy the entire thing for the sake of time of this video. Um, you should know that this is just going to continue with more and more zeros until the entire width of our number is 32 bits wide. So just go ahead and do that yourself. And that's how you add two numbers. Thanks for watching.